If you're a classic enjoyer of petty drama as well as Ultra Kill, you probably already know about this video that was released four months ago by Under the Mayo. He's a game reviewer and he went through the cycle of talking about Ultra Kill and in here he talked about some changes that he'd like to make or changes that he'd think would make Ultra Kill a better game and one of those was adding ammo to the game. Essentially instead of having unlimited ammo like there already is, you would have a limited amount and what this would encourage is other people to use different types of weapons as opposed to just relying off the style meter. So when I saw this mod called Ultra Kill Ammo Mod, which was released around two or three weeks ago, I believe, it did remind me of this old video from Under the Mayo. I just want to make this clear, don't bash Under the Mayo. He's done playing Ultra Kill completely. This is more of just seeing how that idea would come to fruition if it were added to the game. And I'll save my opinions about this whole thing towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, we're in Ultra Kill, and I wanna start with a level that would have a lot of enemies, because how you get ammo is by killing enemies or parrying. Parrying gives you all your ammo back, and then killing enemies gives you a chance to get some ammo in a random weapon. There it is, 20 bullets in the pistol, 10 in the shotgun, 125 in the nail gun, and five rockets. And I believe the rail gun is just unlimited, or it's based off of the, uh, the charge up, so that stays the same. Oh boy, here we go. I never thought this would actually happen, but we're playing ultra kill with ammo, so we'll see how it changes. Oh boy, already starting off strong with that nice, uh, nice miss from your boy. Wait, I think I just saw the ammo. Whatever, we'll we'll keep playing. Oh, there's the ammo right there. That was incredibly messed up, I'm sorry. He did not need to go through that. So far, so good. We got a parry in there, I believe, or we just picked up a lot of ammo. I'll try to get a parry in this room if I even can. Yes, I can. So yeah, it's called overfill. But so far, so good. There are a lot of enemies, so you can't really mess up here. And if you do, I mean, that's kind of messed up. Because even if you're not a good parrier like myself, you're still gonna get ammo because you're just killing every enemy in the book. So I guess you gotta walk over the ammo pieces. Or you gotta get close. All right, so far, honestly, so good. Okay, what? How did that not... Do that again. There we go. Gamers, I'll be honest, I have yet to run out of ammo, but I've also been hitting quite a few parries and killing a lot of enemies. So after this level, I'll try a level that doesn't have as many enemies and you just need a lot of ammo, aka the Leviathan. Oh shoot, we're out of pistol bullets. We got one more. There we go. Sorry, man. Okay, this is definitely weird. This is getting weird now. Oh my gosh, okay. We gotta be resourceful now. I can't... I I keep trying to pull my pistol out and I can't. Oh God, we're out of bullets. Okay, this is just, okay, I can now see the issue with this. Don't mind me guys, just having to punch my way through this game. I seriously died there. What is nice is when you do die, you get all your ammo back. So if a section is quite difficult for you, you do start this section off with ammo. So you're not stuck in like this hyper loop of death. I'm gonna try this room without parrying at all, or at least trying not to pick up ammo, just to see what happens if I don't do that, and to see how necessary it is to parry, because it doesn't seem like you get much ammo from killing enemies. I messed that up. I think I just parried, oh well. I'll be honest, there's only been a couple of times so far in this run where I've only run out of ammo on a certain weapon. And if that's the case, I just have to kind of switch over and pray that that other weapon has ammo. But I will say it is kind of a buzzkill when you're hitting some really nice combos and you just so happen to be out of one bullet or two bullets. Or in this case, with this pistol, the charge shot costs six bullets. So, so if you're down to five bullets in here and you try to do the charge shot, it just won't work. It's not even reduced damage or anything. It just won't let you do it. All right, let's try this bad boy out. I, okay. Yeah, genius mode activated, boys. A lot of bolts there. Not bad. <laughs> okay, this is when chick is problematic. And we got a rocket launcher. Is, is that it? Is that, is that all we have left? So what is there to do now? 
Could I get a parry? Uh, okay, we are completely out of bullets. Oh, unless... I guess we're punching now, boys. Amazing. So that was a pretty high octane level with a lot of enemies to pick up ammo from. I'm gonna try the Leviathan, which I think is maybe the best example of a level where you need a lot of ammo, but you're probably not gonna get a lot. I do know that you can parry one of the Leviathan's attacks really easily, but I'm gonna try to sway away from that as much as I can. He's an easy defeat once you figure that out, but I don't wanna do that because I gotta see what would happen if you are a player that doesn't exactly like to parry quite a bit, aka me. I just, I, I don't do it. it. It happens by accident, I'll be honest. I'm actually kind of scared for this because I know I'm going to run out of ammo really, really fast here. But here we go. We're going to try it, man. What's up, man? So we're already out of bullets in that. This is the attack I'm not going to parry. I'm just not going to do it. Just to simulate the non-parry enjoyers, which is a very minute view, but you know, whatever. So, um... Yeah, we're, we're pretty much out of bullets here. So I guess I will have to parry. Uh oh, I missed it anyways. Oh my gosh. There have been two times where I have had the ability to try to parry and I just have messed it up. Come on, please. There we go. All our bullets back. Wow. What a nice fireworks show. So overall, was Under the Mayo spitting facts or spitting penis when it comes to ammo pickups? And I gotta say, it was a bit of a penis spit, in my opinion. Having limited ammo as a way to force players to use different weapons is definitely not as fun as players discovering that on their own. The incentive is the style meter, and at the end of a given level, you're given a rank, and they should want to try to get a higher rank, not feel like they're forced to do that. There were definitely some times in this run where I ran out of ammo on a certain gun, and yeah, I was forced to use a different weapon, but it wasn't like a good, like, oh, I'm out of ammo, let me just switch over. It's like, oh, oh well, I can't do this cool trick now, so I guess I gotta switch over and just expel this random ammo into this random enemy that may not be the best type of weapon to defeat them. The best example was the street cleaners. I had no ammo in my pistol, shotgun, or my nail gun, so all I had left was my rocket launcher, and you can't really rocket launch street cleaners, so it just kind of made me walk up to it and punch it, which is not very fun. Obviously, this is just a mod, so it just shows you what having ammo in Ultra Kill could be like. So if you do want to try it out, it's, it is in the description. I also just want to be very clear again, uh, don't send more hate to Under the Mayo. He's done playing Ultra Kill. He's moved on. But it would be a lie to say that this video wasn't inspired by his videos that he made about the subject. So I got to give credit where credit's due, I suppose. But yeah, that's pretty much all for today. Have a good day.